guys, this is Dan Seifer from MobileBurn.com and today I'm taking a quick look at a pretty unique accessory for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. Uh, you can see it sitting right next to my iPhone 4S here. It's called the Cogito Dot. Let's see if I can pronounce that right. Um, and what it does is it allows you to capture 360 degree panoramic video using your iPhone's camera. Uh, as you can see, it's got this kind of big attachment on the end here that is a custom built lens that um, when this is snapped onto the back of the iPhone gives you a 360 degree view. It's pretty unique, pretty weird, um, so let's just take it for a spin. In order to use it, you have to snap it onto the iPhone itself. So it snaps on pretty quickly and easily, like so. Now obviously if you have a case on your iPhone, you're not really going to be able to attach this too easily. Um, so you're going to have to either remove your case or just go without a case entirely. And as you can see, it covers over the rear camera uh, unit, and that's about it. It snaps on. It's pl all plastic, but it uh, is pretty firm on there. It doesn't really move too much. Uh, this lens here is, is still. It doesn't uh, rotate or anything like that, but we'll see what the effect does when we do actually record the video. Now, along with the dot accessory uh, is the looker application that you can download from the App Store to record your 360-degree videos. So you can open that up, and the first thing that you see is this kind of round circle so you're looking through what the uh, lens is seeing as you can see my hand there and you can calibrate it because you want that black dot here to cover up the round circle so that it's calibrated properly down at the bottom you got your shooting mode your sharing mode and then a featured mode which is kind of like a network of already recorded videos and then up top you got your um, start and stop record button uh, you can record video with this it doesn't take stills it only does video but you can also record uh, using the volume up key. Uh, there was a recent update to the Looker application that um, allowed you to do that. And that's a good thing because the only way that you record video with this, or the recommended way I should say, is by flipping the phone on its face like so and then recording your video. So uh, actually recording using the uh, on-screen button is quite difficult unless you start it and then flip it over. But let's just shoot a quick test video here. So I'm going to put the phone down and I'm gonna hit the button and I press the button, it should be recording right now. I'll do some little motion here. And there's not much fun to look at while it's recording. Um, and then I will stop. And we will take a look. So there we go. We've got the video that I just recorded there. And you've got options to share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter, share it through email, or upload it to uh, Cogito's uh, own social network that allows you to share the videos. Now the way that it shares these things is through a link. It doesn't embed it in Facebook or anything like that or embed it in the email. It pitches out a link to the person that you're sending it to and then they can click on that and view it on uh, Cogito's web player on their computer. Uh, so you do have to actually create a Cogito account in order to share the videos, which is a little annoying at first, but uh, it does make it possible to share the videos from the uh, dot accessory. So let's take a look at it. And I press the button, it should be recording right now. I'll do some little motion here. And so, much fun to look at while it's here's recording. the cool part. Um, and then I will stop. So you can see as I touch the screen, I can pan around 360 degrees. And you can see my little home office here. And you can see myself with the tripod and the camera. Um, so you can see uh, 360 degrees around. Uh, now, with the case on it, the iPhone doesn't lay flat on the surface here. So it is tilted a little bit. So it's a little bit off. Doesn't look that great. And obviously, the subject matter is not all that interesting. But if you do have something more interesting to look at, like say you're at the top of a uh, uh, high rise building or um, the top of a roller coaster, if you dare, uh, you know, you could probably record some really cool video. The video quality itself is not that great. Uh, it's a bit grainy and a little odd. Uh, it's not a hundred, not, not definitely not as good as the video that the normal uh, camera captures on the iPhone. But it does have that unique feature. And I press the button. It should be recording right now. I'll do some little motion here. And there's not much fun to look at while it's recording. Um, and then I will stop. So there you have it. Uh, Cogito says that you should be able to tap a button uh, and view a panoramic uh, single shot view of the whole video stretched out without having to rotate it but I haven't been able to find that feature online or in the app so uh, that's uh, maybe coming in the future. If we tap the featured button you've got some featured videos that other people have recorded with their uh, dot accessory there so that's all that is. So there you have it. That's a quick look at the Cogito Dot for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. Uh, it's a really funky, unique video accessory that lets you record 360-degree videos with your iPhone's camera. Uh, it's 
a little bit limited in your sharing. It's, it's not easiest uh, to share the video. It's not as quickly as just shooting a video and then sending it off as a message. And it's a little bit limited as far as the capabilities that you can do with the video itself, but it definitely provides a unique perspective. Uh, Cogito is selling this thing direct at cogito.com. That's K-O-G-E-T-O.com. Uh, sells for about $79. Mine here is in bl uh, this green that you can see, but it's also available in red, pink, or black. And if you buy it, you get a microfiber cloth bag to keep it in and keep it clean. So there you have it. This is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com.